25th of September 2023. Welcome to Somalia's premier number one station for news and updates, Dalson TV. I'm your presenter, Abrahman Yusuf. Tonight, we have a couple of stories lined up for you, but first, let's take a look at the stories that are making our headlines. U.S. Secretary of Defense lauds Somalia's impressive progress in military offensive against Al Shabaab militants. Military court sentences three individuals convicted of spying for Al Shabaab. Atmis condemns attack by Al Shabaab in Beledwain. Somalia cautions the public regarding impending El Nino rains. Glad to have you back. Now let's delve into our full bulletin. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lord Austin expressed admiration for the impressive progress made by the Somali forces in their ongoing battle against the notorious uh, terrorist organization Al Shabaab. However, he also cautioned the group that still possesses the capability to export terror from ungoverned spaces. Here's a full story. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin expressed admiration for the impressive progress made by Somali forces in their ongoing battle against the notorious militant organization Al-Shabaab. However, he also cautioned that the group still possesses the capability to export terror from ungoverned spaces. Secretary Austin's remarks came following his meeting with Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud in Djibouti, which marked his first official visit to the African continent since assuming his role as Defence Secretary. Prior to the meeting, the Secretary engaged with Djiboutian President and Defence Minister in a show of gratitude for their support in hosting the United States' primary base in Africa and their unwavering assistance to Somalia in fighting against extremist groups. Somalia's army, in conjunction with Allied clan militias, has persisted in driving out Al-Shabaab fighters from central Somalia as part of the country's military offensive, initiated when President Mahmoud declared a resolute total war against the militants in August 2022. The meeting between Secretary Austin and President Mahmoud occurred just two days after military barracks in Kulbiyo, Somalia was subjected to a small arms fire attack, resulting in injuries to a US contractor and a partner force member, according to a senior defense official who spoke to the VOA. A pro Al Shabaab outlet claimed that four US forces and nine Kenyan forces were injured in the attack, but the senior defense official dismissed these claims as overblown. The official clarified that no US service member was harmed and the injuries sustained by the contractor did not necessitate medical evacuation. Recent incidents of violence have prompted Somali officials to request a 90 day postponement in the planned drawdown of African Union peacekeepers. The Somali government cites several significant setbacks as the reason for seeking this extension. Secretary Austin acknowledged President Mahmoud's determination to maintain momentum, but refrained from offering further commentary on Somalia's appeal to the African Union. The withdrawal of 3,000 African Union forces from Somalia is anticipated to conclude by the end of this month, with the complete withdrawal of all African Union forces slated for completion by the end of next year. Secretary Austin's visit to Africa and his subsequent statements indicate the United States' continued commitment to supporting Somalia's fight against Al-Shabaab and its efforts to establish stability in the region. While recognizing the remarkable progress achieved by Somali forces, Secretary Austin emphasizes the need for sustained vigilance and international cooperation to combat the persistent threat posed by Al-Shabaab in ungoverned areas. A military court has ordered down sentences to three individuals found guilty of espionage on behalf of the notorious Al-Shabaab militants. The convicted individuals identified as Hawa Osman Abdi, Awil Aden Jama, and Hassan Ali Hassan faced charges related to their involvement with the extremist group. A military court has handed down sentences to three individuals found guilty of espionage on behalf of the notorious Al-Shabaab militants. The convicted individuals identified as Hawa Osman Abdi, Awil Aden Jama, and Hassan Ali Hassan faced charges related to their involvement with the extremist group. The case of Hawa Osman Abdi, a young woman whose situation sparked substantial debate on social media, garnered particular attention. In an open confession during court proceedings, Abdi admitted her affiliation with the Al-Shabaab and reveal her role as a weapon storehouse operative for the group in Mogadishu. The military court subsequently sentenced her to eight years of imprisonment for her involvement in the illicit activities. Awil Aden Jama, another convicted individual, received a sentence of 10 years in military prison from the military court. His role in aiding and abetting Al-Shabaab operations contributed to the severity of his sentencing. Additionally, Hassan Ali Hassan, who masqueraded as a taxi driver to transport individuals to Al-Shabaab controlled areas, was sentenced to one year in police custody. 
Chairman Hassan Ali Nur Shute, presiding over the military court, made an announcement during the proceedings. Mohammed Abdi Hussein, who had been detained in connection with the case, was released after the court found no substantial evidence linking him to the espionage activities, thereby exonerating him from any wrongdoing. The recent court ruling came in the wake of a major offensive launched by the Somali troops against the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Al-Shabaab in central Somalia last August. This operation conducted in collaboration with local clan militias, with the support of Africa Union forces and U.S. airstrikes, symbolizes Somalia's intensified efforts to counter the long-standing insurgency led by Al-Shabaab. For over 15 years, Al-Shabaab has waged a brutal campaign to overthrow the fragile internationally backed government in Mogadishu, causing immense suffering and instability in the region. The Africa Union Transition Mission in Somalia, ATMIS, has issued a strong condemnation of the merciless attack perpetrated by the Al-Shabaab militants. The mission said it committed to supporting Somalia's journey towards peace and stability and expressed its profound disapproval of the assault on the innocent civilians, which intended to divert attention from the significant losses suffered by Al-Shabaab due to the ongoing offenses led by the federal government of Somalia. The African Union Transition Mission in Somalia, ATMIS, has issued a condemnation of merciless attack perpetrated by Al-Shabaab. The mission said it is committed to supporting Somalia's journey towards stability and peace expressed its profound disapproval of the assault on innocent civilians, which was intended to divert attention from the significant losses suffered by Al-Shabaab due to the ongoing offensive led by the federal government of Somalia. The African Union Transition Mission in Somalia, ATMIS, is a peacekeeping initiative undertaken by the African Union, AU, to support the stabilization and reconstruction efforts in Somalia. Somalia has been plagued by decades of conflict, political instability, and the presence of various extremist groups, including Al-Shabaab. ATMIS was established under the framework African Union Mission in Somalia, AMISOM, which was authorized by the United Nations Security Council in January 2007. ATMIS operates under the leadership of the special representative of the chairperson of the African Union Mission for Somalia, SRCC, in a bid to protect the Somali people from the looming threat of the floods and anticipated El Nino storm, the Somali Disaster Management Agency, SODMA, issued a compelling warning on Monday. With the autumn rainfall expected to exceed normal levels, the agency urged citizens to remain vigilant and take immediate precautions to mitigate the potential devastations caused by these forthcoming storms. In a bid to protect the Somali people from the looming threat of floods and the anticipated El Nino storm, the Somali Disaster Management Agency, SODMA, issued a compelling warning on Monday. With the autumn rainfall expected to exceed normal levels, the agency urged citizens to remain vigilant and take immediate precautions to mitigate the potential devastation caused by these forthcoming storms. During a press conference, Qadr Sheikh Mohammed Noor, the director of the National Center for Warning of General Threats at SODMA emphasized the escalating concerns surrounding the El Nino phenomenon. The anticipated rainfall is expected to commence in October, with forecasts indicating prolonged periods of precipitation and consecutive rainy days unlike previous years. Given these predictions, Qadr Sheikh Mohammed urged citizens to steer clear of coastal areas, riverbanks, and confluence points to minimize the risk of harm. The Ministry of Environment and Climate Change of the Federal Government of Somalia had previously, previously issued a similar warning, cautioning of the approaching El Nino storm that may impact various regions across the country. Forecasting organizations have already predicted stormy rains along the coastal areas, which, if adequate pre precautions are not made, could potentially wreak havoc and cause extensive damage. Lovely viewers, that El Nino story brings us to the end of our bulletin here at Dalsan TV from our desk here in Mogadishu. I wish to thank those who made this news bulletin a success and you are a lovely viewer wherever you're watching us from. Have yourselves a lovely night and blessings galore.